Hey, hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid, and today we are looking at a tricky Power Query scenario. And this is where we have to unpivot paired columns. Now we do find these kind of scenarios in the wild, which means there's a good chance at some point you will encounter this scenario. And we're going to look at how we can solve it. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here we are in Power Query and we have our example data. If you want to work along with this video, you can find links below. Our columns are item, size one, value one, size two, value two, size three, and value three. We have paired columns. The first two columns of size one and value one are a pair, and size two and value two are a pair, and also size three and value three are a pair. What we want to do is to stack size two and value two below size one and value one, and also the same for size three and value three, which means we should end up with columns of item, size, and value. Now to do this, we are going to use a custom column, and in there, we're going to place a list and records. Now don't worry if you don't know what they are, we will cover those when we come to them. But let's start by creating our custom column. I'll go to Add Column and select Custom Column. We're going to give our column a name of Temp. It doesn't matter what we call this, it will be replaced later on in our query. Then we're going to create a list. To create a list, we enter an opening curly bracket. Within that list, we want to create three items and each item will be a record. To create a record, we start with an opening square bracket. The first record we want to create is going to be called size, and that will be equal to the size one value. Also in our record, we want value, and that will be equal to our value one. We can then close our record and enter a comma to create a new line. Now I'm not going to type this multiple times, so I'm going to paste this three times, and then I'm going to change size two, and size three, and value two, and value three. So that means we now have a list that contains three items. The first item is a record with size one and value one. The second item contains size two and value two, and the third item contains size three and value three. We now want to close our list, because this is the last item, we don't want the comma at the end, and we'll then enter a closing curly bracket to close that list. I'll now click OK. As you can see, we have a column called temp, which contains a list. If we click in the white space, we can see our list contains three records. Now we don't need our size one to size three columns any longer. I'll click on item, I'll hold control, click on temp, and then from home, we can go to remove columns and remove other columns. We're now going to expand our temp column. Because this contains lists, it means it will expand vertically. So let's expand to new rows. That expands vertically. We now have our record. If we click in our record, you can see we have our size and value. Let's expand that. And because this is a record, it will expand horizontally. We don't want the original column name as prefix. I'll click OK, and that's it. We now have the item, the size, and the value. What started as grouped columns have now been unpivoted into a structure with only three columns of item, size, and value. So that's how we can unpivot paired columns in Power Query. Now, some of you are probably thinking, that's great, but what happens in the scenario where the number of columns can change? In our solution, we've hard-coded our columns. Well, the good news is that we already have a solution. And if you're a member of our Excel Academy, you already have this solution. So let's head over into Excel and take a look. Here we are in Excel. I'm going to go to the Excel Off The Grid ribbon. And in my Function Vault add-in, I can go to Power Query. In there, we have our Power Query functions. I'm going to search for Pivot. This gives us three functions, so pivot all rows, group row unpivot, and group column unpivot. I want the first option, and then I'll click insert. 
Now let's head back into Power Query and see how we can use this custom function. As soon as I clicked insert, it added this function into Power Query. I'm just going to duplicate my existing query and then I'm going to delete the steps that we undertook. We're now going to use our custom function. We have our initial data structure. I'll click on the FX icon and now let's add FX group column unpivot, open your bracket. The first argument is table. That will be source, which is the name of our previous step. The next argument is group length. Our columns are in groups of two. Then we get to list the columns that we want to keep. I want to keep the item column. And then we can add a list of the new column names. They were size and value. We'll close the bracket at the end. And when we commit that, we now get exactly the same result, but we didn't have to know how many columns we had. The custom function handled that automatically. There we go. That's how we can unpivot paired columns in Power Query. Now, if you learned something new from this video, then why not subscribe and get notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, if you want to find out more about Function Vault and our library of Power Query custom functions, you can do that at excelofthegrid.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.